My name's Sarah. Um, I am from Wales originally, but I now live in Hampshire. Um, I work down there in one of the hospitals. I'm an emergency medicine registrar. I think I became a blood donor when I was about 17 or so. Just felt it was the kind of right thing to do. I think there was a small group of us and we all went and did it at the same time. Um, and then one, on one of the sessions that I'd gone to, they asked if I could be a bone marrow donor as well, or if I'd like to be a bone marrow donor as well. And I thought, yeah, why not? The day that I found out I was um, the best match, um, I was actually teaching that day on a course. And um, in one of the kind of natural breaks, I had um, a, a missed call, a voicemail. And I started to listen to the voicemail and heard that it was Kylie. So I had to excuse myself from the session and went into a small room where the lady who was directing the course that I was teaching on was, was in. And I said to her, look, I know I'm meant to be in that room teaching, but I, I need to take this call. I need to phone them back. Um, and she said, oh, do you mind me asking, you know, who it is? And I said, no, no, of course not. It's the uh, Welsh Blood Service. I'm, I might be a potential bone marrow match for somebody. And I've had a call from them and I guess I need to give them a ring. Um, and at that point she said, oh my goodness, that's absolutely amazing. Um, my cousin died last year of leukemia. Like it's such a privilege um, that, you, um, that you might be a match. So she was in the room when I phoned Kylie back and Kylie said, um, are you sitting down? And I was kind of like, no. <laughs> and she was like, I think you should. <laughs> and I was like, oh my goodness, am I a match? And she said, yes. And at that point I was kind of sort of squealing a little bit. And, and Nikki, who was the lady that um, was in the room with me, said, oh my God, are you a match? As we were all sort of on the phone, I said, yes. And, she burst into tears and then I burst into tears and then Kylie just couldn't believe what, what was going on down the other end of the phone and yeah, I, I, I could not believe it, couldn't believe it. The next step in the journey then, Kylie just explained that she was going to send some more information out in the post, um, that I could have a little read of the different um, ways in which you can donate bone marrow um, and we made a date in the diary for coming over to Wales to uh, um, actually meet everybody and have a bit more of an in-depth chat about it. Um, so I got the leaflets, had a little read of those and then um, came down here today which was no hardship being from Wales and um, it's been great, um, really relaxed atmosphere, everybody's extremely friendly, um, any questions I've had have been you know um, answered and everything's explained like really clearly so um, you don't feel under any pressure at all um, and it's just, yeah, it's been a really good morning just to get your head around what, what, what potentially will happen after this. Uh, so now I'm uh, off for my medical and um, then hopefully after that we'll um, be donating in a few weeks time and yeah, I just can't imagine what the person is feeling that I'm, that may, you know, receive my bone marrow donation. I think they must be a bit scared, a bit excited. I think they must be thinking, my God, this is, you know, my opportunity to live. <laughs> and I feel incredibly privileged that I could give somebody that, that, that opportunity, basically. <laughs>